फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज देविका जोबड़ेकर आई एम अ चिल्ड्रंस बुक ऑथर एंड इलास्ट्रेटर फ्रेंड्स आई कूडेंट रिव्यू बुक्स फॉर लास्ट फाइव वीक्स सो सॉरी अबाउट दैट बट नाउ आई एम बैक विथ टू अमेजिंग बुक्स आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टू शेयर दोज विथ यू एंड अलॉन्ग विथ दैट आई हैव अ ग्रेट रिसोर्स आई फाउंड दिस ऑनलाइन फॉर चिल्ड्रंस बुक्स एंड आई कैनॉट वेट टू uh share all the details with you but first let's begin with the uh, two books that i have selected for this week so uh the first book is square it's written by mag barnett and it's illustrated by yon classen i am a big fan of yon classen and he has done uh many children's books and please do check them out because his uh his style of illustration is very different and beautiful so uh let's talk about um uh, square so um this is a story of this black square who uh lives in a secret cave and you can see how beautifully he has illustrated um the the cave and you can see the stairs which are um, taking you out of the cave i just love the textures and the colors he has used um so for for the whole work day um all he does is pushing these square rocks to a uh, hill top that's all the square does and one fine day he meets this circle and you can see that uh, she is floating she is not walking like square and she she is really uh, impressed with uh, this square's work and she thinks that he has actually uh, made these uh, black uh, blocks so she says that why don't you make something for me and um you know square doesn't uh, consider himself as a sculptor or artist so this is the first time he's trying his hand to uh, create something so he tries and tries uh, he has this small uh, black rock and he's actually trying to shape it into a circle and he miserably fails and as you can see there is a rubble around and it has started raining and square falls asleep uh, inside the small puddle which is created by this rubble he has created and when he gets up in the morning um uh, he just disappointed because he uh, couldn't make a nice circle for his circle friend and so uh the circle comes and she um see she's really interested in checking out what what square has done and you can see that she sees an her reflection in the puddle and she is very happy with what she has seen and she says that you are a genius i think you have done a great job this is perfect and again square is uncertain about oh really is he a genius so that that's that's all the story is and uh, it's an easy read because the text is very simple and there are only one or two lines on each page most of the pages it's a simple story but you know what i have uh, learned uh, or rather it's my take away from this story is that most of the times uh, i am an illustrator so sometimes i intend to uh, do something and a totally different result comes out so you know i i just feel that square uh, square uh, was trying to get a circular shape but instead he actually created a small uh, i mean not not just him but that that night it rained and it created a nice circular puddle and if you go back to the story uh, you will see that circle uh, the the circle that black circle she never commissioned him to make a um, a sculpture or a paint painting she just said that do something for me so you know when she sees her reflection she is really happy with the uh, result and in art in the in the sense of art there is nothing perfect it just um you know um it's how you see uh, at the piece of the art because for everybody it has a different meaning 
so that's my takeaway from this story um again it's a nice read the illustrations are intriguing and very pleasing um i think any first grade kid can read this book so do check it out uh, it's called square now let's move on to our second book i really love this book uh, this is called unplugged and it's written and illustrated by steve antony so um this is a th this is a story of uh, this small robot called blip and all he likes is being connected to or rather being plugged to his computer and for the whole day he likes playing um, on his computer different games counting doing some um, fun puzzles drawing etc and that's all he does every day and one day uh, there is a blackout and uh, this small robot actually it's she the blip it gets it gets disconnected um, from her computer and she rolls down she tumbles all the way downstairs and as you can see she comes out of her house or wherever she is so she explores the outside world and she finds it so funny and if you if you see this actually whatever she plays every day she plays on her computer it mirrors in the real life in her real life experience when she goes out and she finds that it's very interesting uh, to explore new things and learn new things um i absolutely love the illustrations they are very simple yet colorful beautiful and <laughs> let me share this with you this small illustration i have never seen a rabbit hopping on tree branches so i just found it very funny i just love this book um few few weeks back i had uh, reviewed a book called um something something like on uh, on the do nothing day or something like that uh, i don't remember exact title but the artist was beatrice alemagna um i'll give you the link below uh, th that book had exactly a uh, same theme but why i chose this book was um nowadays there are many kids who just prefer to stay at home and play um, games on their phone or just watch uh, cartoons on the tv but you know it's really important for kids to go out and uh, see the world learn new things explore the nature and just play around so that's why i picked this book um it's a nice book though it has a same theme i think it's a must read for kids again it's a very simple book uh, just two or three lines on each page and uh, the text is simple yet fun and i really like this character of blip so do check it out these both books are uh, perfect for kids who are in preschool or in first grade so uh, do check it out i have uh, given the links below um, you can find these books in any library or on amazon now uh, moving on to the next part which i'm really excited about is a few days ago i just found this amazing resource um, created by a publishing house in india it's called pratham book um they have this program called story weaver and they have thousands of books available free for kids um to read on on um any device so um the the books are available in most of the indian languages as well as in english and what i loved about it is that they have actually given um the reading levels and the illustrations and stories are so amazing i mean i just uh, i just found that resource a couple of days back so i just read two or three stories but today i'm going to share uh, with you guys the story which i like the most the illustrations are so beautiful so i'm going to do that i'm going to show you um, that website on my ipad and we are going to see the illustrations and the story so guys um this is a website i was talking about storyweaver.org.in and today i'm going to uh, share with you guys a much is amazing machines um uh, this is uh, 
written by Rajiv AP and illustrated by uh, Rajiv AP too. So uh, let's see the illustrations. Look, these are so beautiful. I mean the uh, the details he has drawn are just amazing. And you have to read the story uh, later on. But if you see the illustrate, I'm really impressed with his work. And the uh, uh, the machines, uh, this uh, this lady and her grand uh, son have made are just amazing. So these are the illustrations, and at the end of the book. Actually, he has shown uh, small sketches like what kind of uh, uh, physics principles uh, they use to make these uh, homemade machines. So guys, you have to um, check out this book. And let me show you. They have got so many books, so many books. Look, so they have 9,088 stories in 120 languages, which is amazing. And all the books are available in English as well as uh, five, six main Indian languages. Uh, so this is a treasure for little readers. I hope you guys like this video if you like it. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. I have given all the links below. Um, I have also uh, given the link of uh, Story Weaver. So do check out all the books they have offered. They are amazing. And I'll see you next week with two new books. Until then, ciao. Bye-bye.